Today, let's study together 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 14, where it talks about our place in the triumph of Christ. And we will learn what a triumph really is. Because a triumph is not what we think it is. Triumph and victory are totally different. And that's what we need to learn about today. So let's go to the scripture. 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 14. But thanks be to God who always leads us in triumphal procession in Christ and through us spreads everywhere the fragrance of the knowledge of him. Now, there is a curiosity in this verse. Not only do many different translations say different things, the translation that I'm using, if you look at the most recent ones, the ones that are online or the ones that you would find in the bookstore today, the verse reads differently. They've revised it. They would, they, meaning the, the translators, would say they had corrected it to follow the Greek better. Ooh. And what would it say? It would say, but thanks be to God who always leads us in as captives in Christ's triumphal procession and through us spreads everywhere the fragrance of the knowledge of Christ. Hmm. It's a difference. Captives. Led me to do some real deep study. What is he talking about? The first thing I found out is the triumph has a very specific meaning. And it's not the victory. A triumph followed a victory. A triumph is an award given as the honor given because of the victory. A general would win a victory, and as everyone knew in the, among the people that Paul was speaking to, because they're all residents of, and many of them citizens of, the Roman Empire, the authorities, the absolute imperial authorities, whatever they were in the different ages, the tyrant, the senate, the emperor, would grant to that victorious general a triumph many months after the victory. Hmm. The triumph is, you might say, the victory parade, but it's more than that. The parade is only one part. What was it? As I looked into it, at one point I thought, Okay, we must be the soldiers following after Christ because the word that is translated leads us in triumph is just one word. It means to lead in triumph. It's not like there's a word for lead and a word for triumph. It's just one word, to be led in triumph, in the triumph. But it doesn't apply to the soldiers, I found. It only applies to the captives, which is why so many translations have corrected themselves. But how can we be captives? This is, as far as I know, the only place where we are referred to as captives. But if we really look into what is a triumph, and it's more than a parade, it's not the victory itself, not the battle itself, and it's more than a parade, what is it? It is something granted, and it was a ceremony that had many parts. And it started at dawn, and people, the, the victorious general and his army would gather outside the gate of the city, they would come to the gate, and there the authority of the empire would meet them. And let's look at it from the earliest days, the days of the tyrant. The tyrant, the one supreme leader, would meet them. Later, it was the senate. And with them would be all of their magistrates. And the general would, come, would bring his captives and his trophies and the things he had seized, the booty, and he would come to the gate of the city where the, and it was a specific gate, only used for this purpose, and he would come there, and there would be his superior. That's important. His superior. And he would say, I have conquered. I have taken captives. 
I give them to you. And that's what's important. And then the procession would enter the city. And first would come the supreme authority. Most of the Roman Empire, that was the Senate as a body. And then their magistrates, and then led in triumph, this word that we find in this verse, the captives. And then came the triumphant general, and then his family, and then his soldiers. And finally, those who had been rescued. But we are here placed by Paul in the captives. What does that mean? We, Paul says, while we were yet enemies of God, Christ died for us. We were the enemy. Well, who are these captives in the triumph? The ones who were the enemy. That's us. Paul says he was an enemy of Christ because he persecuted the church. And he conquered us. He conquered our stubborn wills. He conquered the sin nature in us. He conquered death in us. He conquered our rebellion so that our rebellion was quashed and we become in subject, in subject, in subject to God. We are the captives because we have been conquered by Christ's sacrifice. He didn't conquer us by attacking us. He conquered us by defeating our master, Satan. And having conquered Satan, he took captives. And what did he do? He presented us to God the Father, who now leads us in the triumphal procession with Christ through the city with the incense flowing over everywhere.